What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Nick, also known as Oso oh Sick. We have Angel right here. There's this little app below him, so you can follow him on IG. I saved you guys the whole boring ride because we left like at 5.30 in the morning and I just got off the freeway right now. The reason why I'm stopped is one, because nobody's behind me, and two, the truck's kind of loud, so the audio gets kind of bad when I'm driving. But we are finally here, and just down the street is Bun Willow Raceway. And we're out here for the Global Time Attack Finals. I'm really excited because, for one, I got invited out to this event, and this is like the best of the best. Everybody's bringing out like full blown Time Attack cars, and I'm bringing a stock Aero Civic SI. I'm in a Type R, but that's fine because we made some really good power. We've got a lot of new parts on there, like the W2 from 271 Turbo. We have HKS coilovers, uh, Cybon hood, so that saves us some weight. And we have the Titan 7 wheels, which also saves some weight. And we are running the Yokohama AO52s. You have to run those tires in this class that we're in. And the class that we're actually in it is street class. And then we're going to be meeting up with my friend Corey, who works for Honda. He's going to be driving the car as well. So you can sign up for two drivers. It's a two-day event. So I'll be driving, he'll be driving. And then the way they calculate it is whoever gets the best time out of the entire weekend. But we came a day early, which is Friday today, to get some practice sessions in. But I've already seen online that a lot of people are signed up for the practice session because yeah, I mean, we, we want to lay down our personal best and you know try to podium for the weekend. So got to get there, unload, do go through tech, do everything. And then there's a good amount of type bars that are out here that are actually set up to do this. So I'm curious to see how this SI will do. It doesn't make the most power, but again, it's reliable and it's a really good turbo. I was driving it on the street. It's, it, it doesn't spool as fast as stock, but that's fine. This is a bigger track and we'll be at the higher RPMs anyways. And that semi truck is moving, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So I got my laptop with me and uh, I'm going to hopefully get a good amount of practice sessions in here. That way we can data log and look at the Honda Data Flash Pro Manager software to see if we need to make any changes. Probably have to lower the boost a little bit in certain gears. Uh, so we'll have boost by gear uh, just to not spin the tire out of certain turns. So the car's coming up, but we're gonna get into the track right now and let's see what type of cars are there. So practice is going really good. The car feels great. There's probably a little too much power in some of the gears, but instead of doing the boost by gear and dialing it down in second gear, I think we're just gonna stay out of second because in third gear on some of the turns, it might feel like you're in the wrong RPM, but it just spools up so quick and the power just instantly kicks in and it's more than enough to carry it out. So less shifting and we're gonna rely on the W2 to just make up the power and the Honda out of traction control to make sure it just doesn't spin. So that's really good. The things that I noticed is the brakes. Obviously these are the street pads and they're Willwoods and I've been driving daily on it and the brake fluid is probably not that good. Uh, so the brakes faded after like the third on lap. Corey, do you feel anything? Yeah, this being a street pad, I think it faded within three or four laps and then the pedal just went to the floor. So we just got to do a double pump just to bring it in yeah. safely. And uh, once we get new fluid in there from fresh pads, we should be good to go. Yeah, so my personal best time that I was able to hit on practice is 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I've personally never driven this track, so it's really cool to see, especially compared to going up against all these like unlimited class cars because it's, it's open practice. So it's, you're out there, you're out there, and there could be a full-blown race car, and you just make sure you're out of the way. But got a 210, uh, 
worrying about the brakes. The tires are still good. And the tune is really phenomenal. No misfires, no none of that. Um, I think we're done for the day though. Just because we're going to focus on changing the brakes. As you guys already saw and I posted in other videos, I did get a fresh set of rotors and race pads from Woolwood along with their brake fluid. So we knew it was needed. We just wanted to wear these down during practice. That way we could have the fresh set for tomorrow. And I think we're going to stick with the same tires, right? Yeah, There's no these point tires in switching. are good. No, no traction issues there. So, yeah, we got some work to do. Let's review some of the data logs and uh, make sure it's just not going to blow up. The pro second driver that you guys, I told you guys about, <laughs> um, he has a lot more experience on this track than me, but overall, I'll be happy if we could get anywhere near like a solid two, two minutes. I think yeah. that'd be really good. This is probably the only car in, its, in the street class that has stock bodywork. Everybody has aero and wings and this is just from the factory, minus the tow hooks that added like five horsepower. So, all right, we gotta get to work. I need to lower it. session right now the tire temperature went up about 8 psi and I did a best time of 207 so two minutes and seven seconds that was the only time that actually got recorded because the transponder wasn't working in the beginning so they black flagged me to get off course to tell me and thankfully we were able to change the transponder pretty quick and get back on the track so I can do one more kind of little re warm up lap and then do one full lap and actually time it and so yeah my only recorded time for the first session of day one at global time attack finals button willow is a it was two minutes and seven seconds uh and the car feels good it was a little swirly i could definitely use some aero but the car feels great the brakes are phenomenal so huge shout out to willwood for getting me the new set of pads and rotors just in time for the event Everything else feels amazing. The turbo is really responsive, picks up quick. I'm only sticking to two gears in, throughout this entire track, third and fourth gear. And uh, the temperatures are good. The power metrics, AKA Daniel Butler tune is perfect. The knock control does not see more than 54 uh, knock control percentage. So it, it's good. Uh, you know, I got a couple data likes to review right now. And um, I'm really happy. So next session, Corey's gonna drive and he'll probably get a better time than me. I hope he does, that's, that's why he's here. He's here to <laughs> really put this car to the test. The HKS coilovers are doing phenomenal. You know, they're really comfortable on the street just driving regular freeway city, but on the track, they perform really good. Obviously, a lot of these cars are prepped for just race car only, you know, time attack and 
they have like really aggressive uh, suspension, but for these coilovers on, on the SI, it, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I, I had the springs for a while, uh, which is great and it looks really good. Uh, but yeah, these coilovers, best bang for the buck for sure on the suspension. Uh, still stock sway bars. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm just cooling down right now, doing circles so the brakes cool down and everything just kind of goes back to regular operating temps. Uh, but it's fun. I uh, get sideways a little bit on certain sections. Uh, I'm still hesitant on certain sections because you do get to speed pretty quick. But the good thing, uh, there's a lot of like elevation changes and you could feel the Honda out of traction control like just keeping me grounded. So I can't wait to see what the log looks like on that. Stay tuned, we're gonna look over the car, make sure everything's good, nothing, no leaks, etc. But motor feels strong. We dialed it back from our practice today, yesterday. Yesterday, we had uh, the 100 octane tune, and it might have been just probably because I still had a blend of 91 when I put off 100 octane. So, that or it's just bad gas because the gas station I got it at was pretty suspect. Um, so, the knock count rose a little bit, and we're not trying to. We're just not trying to risk it. We're just trying to play it easy. So we dialed it back, put the 91 tune back in it. Uh, because when we were at 271 in Vegas, we tuned the W2 on pump gas first, 91, and then we drained it out, put on 100 octane, and then did that tune. So this 91 tune, I, if I remember correctly, I'll double check, but I think it's at like 270 horsepower. But it's more than enough for this track. So um, if we're close to podium, we'll turn it up. But if not, we're good right here, just having fun. It's a nice day, got good, good weather, so see how these tires do. And then I haven't tried the new brakes on the track yet, so I'm excited to try that out.
right, so I just got done with the third session. It's a official time of two minutes and five seconds, 0.9 something. And the car felt really good. Now we are just rotating the tires because the sprints have been through abuse from practice day yesterday and obviously today. Last session, Corey's gonna go out there and probably hit a 202. Uh, so, or maybe a 159, who knows? <laughs> I told him to send it already. Uh, car feels really good though. Um, haven't made any tuning changes. Everything still looks good on that. So yeah, we're just gonna do the tire change and we'll see tomorrow we might put the fresh set of AO52s on there, but we're gonna see how the last session goes. Um, there was a Type R in front of me. This is what they were built for. So just being able to be behind him and stay on him was like a really good feeling. I'm sure he probably didn't really like the feeling. Let's see, check it out. So this is what happens to your tire when you try to keep up with the Type R and an SI. Uh, thankfully, I, I had the power, so the power kind of carried me out on there. But uh, it was cool because for about two solid laps, we were just, I was just on him behind him. So the GoPro footage, I'm excited to see that. And if he had a GoPro footage, that'd be pretty cool too. So this was the front, we're putting it to the rear. And then this is the rear. Now we're switching it to the front. So for sure, there's a lot more tread, a lot more life. And uh, yeah, this should make a big improvement. So hopefully he goes out there and runs a, what are you gonna run again? Two and two. Yeah, two two. These brake pads, switching from like a street pad to a race pad is such a big difference. And uh, Corey was giving me some tips on how to brake properly uh, with the race pad specifically. So that tip for sure, you can see the improvement I had for my last session running a 205. The thing about the race pad is you can't just go out, turn on the car, start driving and then brake and expect it to be at its full potential. With the race pad, you actually have to heat it up and get it to like pretty much just operating temps for it to like really shine. It all depends on your setup, everything is different. It's important to bed them in him. Oh. Always important to bed in your brakes too before you start a race. And if you don't know what that means, you can Google that or look on <laughs> Will Wood's, uh, look on Will Wood's website, they have instructions on how to properly bed the new pads. Y'all don't even know who's on my team. Look at that Honda Racing right there. 100 Octane from the most sketchiest gas station that I've been to. Like the pump where you push the button for like, you know, 87, 89, 91. They wrote with the Sharpie 100. So, kind of sus if you ask me.
here we have Nicholas Zambrano catching up to Austin Shipley there through bus stop. That's one place where you're going to see cars really have a different speed differential because it comes down to the, the driver's comfort level more than anything. Also, um, every single 10th gen SI owner in the world is going to use that shot of an SI passing a Type R on track and say, see, I told you I was faster. are like on its last <laughs> last life amount uh, we really put like the entire use of these tires uh, we have a fresh set but we wanted to just waste these as much as we could and I could feel that it's already it's out it's, it just keeps sliding but I, I think I still put down a really good time uh, but yeah it would definitely help to change the tires but I, I think we're done for the day to be honest no point in putting a fresh set if one <laughs> we're not going to podium because there's a lot of fast cars out here and fast drivers but uh hopefully i got a new personal best and with <laughs> like zero tread wear left on this tire but uh it's really good i'm just gonna do the little cool down as usual uh, definitely feel the the back end getting out uh, but we also raised the tire pressure in the rear so uh it's it's fun it was fun had a little issue with the first couple sessions. First session, there's kind of a lot of traffic and everybody was just going full send. So a lot of debris and just craziness. Uh, second session, second session had some issues, uh, but fixed all that. And now the third uh, session is what you just saw. Feels good, man. Feels really good. We turned up the boost, so some more power. Not, not by too much. Uh, Threw a little more ignition in there, but uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. We'll see if I'll see if Corey wants to go have another session out. We'll have one more session, and then that's it for Global Time Attack Finals in Button Willow. Uh, but if he does go for another session, we definitely have to change the tires. These are done. <laughs> haven't really road raced or not that into but well, it's kind of like the landmark to really compare your car to other cars so so far so good how to put the new battery in the Raptor but I mean that's fine next stop Baja two days and uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet you should subscribe and remember life's also safe with